different people in your wardrobe then? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I don't have very many serious characters in my wardrobe. Um, I really tend to wear color a lot uh -huh. um, because I do think, A, I look better in color and B, I just like the feeling and I like the joy that color brings. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong. I do wear black, but most of my black stuff is like embellished a little bit. <laughs> so I'll have like a little bit of sparkle on it or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think there's the different people in my wardrobe, probably like when I go to work, I tend to wear jeans and mm -hmm. something comfier. Cause a lot of the times I'm like on my knees, putting a model's shoes on or a yeah. client's shoes on and, um, you know, you can't like bend over and have <laughs> your underwear showing so like yeah I tend to wear jeans or more jumpsuit something practical when I'm going to work yeah and then when I'm going out I tend to wear like it's the sexy version of me maybe with like a mini a mini dress or something a mini skirt or something yeah. um my legs are like one of my favorite parts so I usually have those out instead of my arms or anything yeah um, but yeah I, it's so fun I think fashion is so fun and I do feel like a lot of stylists and a lot of like editors have lost the way. And I see so many like grays and tans and blacks and browns. And you're like, come on, where's the fun in fashion? Yeah. <laughs> no, I completely agree. And something you just said, I want to pick up on about your legs are your favorite part. So you showcase that versus your arms. And I've been asked a lot recently about like body image and how to dress for your shape and again I look at like old school kind of stylists I used to follow and it was very much like if you're a pear shape wear this and if you're an apple then wear that but I love what you say it's more about what you like show that what you don't like hide that yeah I don't know if that's how you does that how you approach styling as well yeah yeah because for me I wouldn't I, say that I'm like an apple shape which is like where you have like a bigger around like I feel like I'm pretty much all the same style like I'm no part of me looks like out of proportion uh -huh. so I wouldn't really think I would fit into the that category but I just like my legs more than I like my arms <laughs> <laughs> my stomach yeah I suppose my stomach I'm like less happy with now that I've had kids and stuff uh -huh. than I used to I'm, I used to maybe pop it out more on occasion but now I'm like all right, only a sliver at the top if I'm going to show it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. but yeah, I think confidence is key. And like, I wear things that I that make me happy. And I think that is like when I'm shopping, which I don't do very often, to be honest, um, I won't buy anything unless I think it brings me joy. I love that. I think that's an approach. If everybody's listening, that's what you need to do. If it doesn't make you feel happy, it doesn't make you feel confident. It doesn't matter if it's trending or, you know, you yeah. just really need something for this event. Like you need to check first if it's making you happy and confident. And yeah. like you said, we have the power to showcase bits of our bodies that we'd like and make ourselves feel more confident, essentially, because we are giving ourselves power to put our bodies in the best light. And I think that's brilliant. And I, I'm glad that a stylist is saying that as well. Because I think a lot of people think that a stylist will tell you like how you need to show your body, but it depends about how you feel about your body. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, yeah, I think you could be confident wearing anything really, yeah. um, as long as you feel it in yourself. Yeah. Also, there's so many good rental platforms now for um, clothes that it's like there's no need to buy anything that doesn't make you feel like yeah happy and joyful so rent it instead of buying it exactly. is there are there any that you like particularly that you like? I love um my wardrobe and they have uh, like a pop-up in Harrods at the moment which is really good yeah um, but I think we have such a big selection also her is really good h-u-r-r -R. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they have a place in Selfridges I think all these people are like teaming up with different um big department stores which makes it really nice for like the average consumer who wants to yes. go in and try it on instead of you know getting it shipped and worrying about like is it gonna fit is it not gonna fit yeah oh, um I think yeah I think I'm gonna start using her as like because I have so many clothes just yes. from like different projects I've done and stuff so I was like yeah. I should start renting these out oh my um, god I will be the first person to rent <laughs> No. it's just I'm in talks with one of the companies but I basically I don't have the time I haven't had the time to like send them pictures of everything and then telling them like how much it would have been worth like if I would have purchased it mm -hmm. a lot of times I get things for free or like 
um, I get given things for work. So um, it's like, oh, I don't even know. So that takes so much time. I'm like, I have so much stuff though. Yeah. Um, I need to get it out. I'm the, um, so- yeah, I'm the same. I have a bag of stuff that I ever want to sell or cater to the tailors or yeah. Yeah. It's just time. It's just time. Gosh. It is. Yeah. It is. But it is going to be worth it. We should both get on it. <laughs> Okay, we'll make a promise to ourselves. Yeah. And then we'll have that bag or there's things in their wardrobe. Let's try yeah. to, to make a move on that. Um, yeah. That would be quite profitable. I think now a lot of people are looking at their purchases, especially their luxury purchases, as like an investment and like a side yeah. Like, yeah, it could be for you, but you could also make a bit of money on there, like get more use out of your clothes. And I think that adds exactly. to their value as well. <laughs>